Hi, this is Lauren Fogelman at ExpertSportsPerformance.com, working with highly driven, motivated athletes on being cool, calm, and confident for winning results. Today's topic is, are you mentally tough enough? When I wanted to discover the number one quality of top performing athletes across the board in all sports, I ended up going to the Navy SEALs and looking what the Navy SEAL recruits had to do to survive Hell Week, which is a week of physical torture and actually mental game stuff where they're under pressure constantly, they're sleep deprived, and it's to see if they can withstand the pressure because if they can withstand the pressure during Hell Week, they're more likely to come back out alive when they're on a mission. And to get an idea as to what Hell Week is like, just think about your most difficult, grueling training ever, and then 10 exits. That's just touching the surface of what the Navy SEALs endure during Hell Week. So what is that number one quality that really leads to mental toughness? Well, it's called grit. And grit means that you're able to withstand the physical as well as the mental challenges because you have what it takes, you're committed to your vision, you're willing to go the full distance. You're totally passionate about what you want to achieve. Let's look at the qualities that you can develop in order to have grit too. The first one is growth. You have to have a growth mindset, which means that if you don't already possess the qualities, if you don't possess everything that's needed to really rise up above the average athlete and really excel and hit your numbers, then you know that you can develop it. And that's what a growth mindset is, is that if you don't have it yet, then you're gonna do what it takes to get it and to claim it. After that is ready. How ready are you to be able to forfeit some of the immediate gains because you're looking towards a bigger picture a bigger result, you have some greatness in mind. When you give up the immediate and you stick with it, then you get insights, you gain experience, you gain confidence. So readiness to be able to do the tough stuff is so important if you wanna be an exceptional athlete. After that, intent. Are you determined to do whatever's possible, to be able to rise up to the challenge because you know that when you step out of your comfort zone and you take on the challenges, then you grow from the experience and that it's those challenges beyond your comfort zone that actually accelerate your progress. So after intent is tenacity. Tenacity means that you're gonna stick with it no matter what, no matter what obstacles arise, no matter what anybody says, it doesn't really matter. You're sticking to your guns because you have a vision, you know what's possible, and nothing's gonna get in the way. And when you have those failed attempts, you just see them as stepping stones preparing you for that next big challenge that you're working towards. Okay, that's what helps develop grit for athletes. Now let's look at what coaches can do to help their athletes become a much more resilient team. First, it's about togetherness. Not singling out any one athlete, but really creating a team culture. And the bottom line is if one athlete topples, then the entire team goes down. That's something that's learned in the Navy SEALs. And if it works for the Navy SEALs, trust me, it's gonna work for your team also. It's not about any one person being a hero. It's about everybody working together Everybody is equally important and equally necessary. Next is effort. What you wanna do is recognize that the gains really happen when you allow your athletes to fail. And the gains happen not in spite of the failures, but because of them. That's where the growth happens. Let your athletes go ahead and put in the effort, recognize the effort, acknowledge it and put so much more effort, so much more emphasis on the effort than the numbers. Because if they put their heart into it and you recognize that, they're gonna go beyond, the, beyond average, beyond, beyond just what you would expect 
they're gonna achieve greatness. So the effort is so important. Next is adversity. There's times that they're gonna be out of their comfort zone. They're not gonna know how to get past the next obstacle. It doesn't mean that you're gonna physically and mentally haze them like Hell Week, because they're not training to be Navy SEALs, they're athletes. But what you're gonna do is let them go ahead and figure it out around, among themselves, go ahead and work it out. You can coach them through it, but don't necessarily give them all the answers. Trust that they can self-coach because when they learn that the information is within them, they gain confidence, they become so much more resilient. So let them face adversity, figure out a lot of it on their own, struggle with it so that they can then succeed. After adversity is model. Here's where you don't want to be their friend. You want to be their model of what's possible. If you want them to be great, then be great yourself and show them how to do it by example. Lead as a model. It's so important. And recognize, once again, it's not about singling out any one person. It's about the whole team being a culture and every single person on that team is just as important as the next. So model that you care about your team, each and every one of them. Model how to have self-respect, how to build confidence, how to be able to stand up and rise above the challenges. And doing that is gonna show your team what they're capable of doing too. It's gonna to create that team unity and when they work together, it's gonna to be a beautiful thing. So the bottom line is to be the best, they need to learn how to beat the rest, but they need to do it as a team. The focus is on always looking to improve the next thing that's gonna help them to move the needle forward. The bottom line is that yes, it's gonna to be tough, but you wanna be able to show them through modeling how to tough it out, how to keep your head in the game and not give in to the pressure or not to let your emotions control you when you really need to be focused. So here's your challenge. First of all, choose a goal that requires some effort and practice that's beyond your comfort zone. After that, connect deeply with the purpose of why you wanna reach that goal. Then go ahead and create milestones. What are some of the steps that you're gonna hit that will show that you're progressing? And finally, know what some of the obstacles might be and plan for them. How do you get in your own way? And when that happens, how can you work through it? Keep those plans of the what ifs and how you wanna be able to work through those what ifs when they do arise. So that's your challenge. If you're interested in additional mental game training, go to my website, expertsportsperformance.com, put your name and email address in the upper right hand corner. Immediately, you'll get the first of my video mental game training series. Please go ahead and write a post on what you think about grit and mental toughness what steps you're willing to take to really rise up to the challenge and stick it out. I'd love to hear from you as to how this is gonna make a difference in your performance. Also, hit the likes button. And my mission is to show you how to stay cool when the heat is on. Lauren Fogelman, expertsportsperformance.com.